Ooh. Siege gave up with so little Maya. No fun at all. Dude, look at those. Doll? Even Can he's looking mean? at her. What up, homies? It's part six of the Jack and Daxter Let's Play, and we're gonna fight Claw, and we're gonna jump right in. Oh my god. Ah, it's Claw. Pretty straightforward boss, just a lot of, uh, you know, standard platforming with a good mix of eco. We're gonna get some blue eco to build a platform in front of us, and then some yellow eco to, like, attack him. Oh, okay, we, uh, well, we found lava, and that's certainly not good. Uh, of course, judging from the previous track record of the past Let's Plays, and my, uh, well-known ability at this point to die a lot in games, uh, it's probably going to happen a lot, so hopefully we'll get him this time and I don't fall in the lava. Wish it were more like Spyro, where if you touch like, bad liquid, Spyro's ass would just burn and then he'd jump back out of the lava. That's kind of how that usually went. Oh, come on! Well, the eco's gone. They didn't give me much time to grab that. That's fucking bullshit. Come on. That yeah, big ass upper body. Well, that homo ass armor pussy I mean look at me for example all I've got is like leather with like some sort of ring or something I don't know what that is on Jack's chest but he has it in like all the Jack games ah ah I actually forgot what to do oh yeah that's what that's what it is shoot it Oh, I'm supposed to shoot him. Yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting. As I often do at this point. Okay, what, how much health do I have? How do I do? Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, god damn it. I was gonna, like, click to see how much health I had. And I forgot what it was, and I hit square <laughs> without thinking. And then I just punched myself into the lava. Not a great idea. Okay, well, at least the blue eco was conveniently placed. Ah, ah. Okay, I do that thing. Start doing like a Kamehameha wave over your head. Let me shoot you. There we go. I should probably I should probably avoid using that jump just so I don't accidentally go in the lava. Cause so far that's happened a lot where I do the the roll thing. I always gotta do this lava. And then of course after this boss fight we also have the that like downhill path with the zoomer that we have to go through. And that's a pretty fun area. Although I forget how to get one of the power cells in that area every time I play Jack and Daxter. So chances are I'll probably forget this time too. So you know that's that's great. We can look forward to that. Um, how's everybody been? You know, how's the how's the past week been? Mine's been uh pretty good. You know, obviously that big announcement. Well, not really announcement, but you know, Sony was like, hey, you know, February twentieth, we're gonna have a little PlayStation event in New York City. I'm sure all you guys have watched the latest LTPS, and of course have been following the news. And of course, it is probably gonna be PlayStation Four. Of course, there's very strong rumors. I did. I honestly did not think they were going to announce it that early, uh, especially considering Kaz did make that comment about, "Oh, you know, we'll, we'll just let Microsoft go first. Really, did not see that coming. Son of a bitch! I got to do the whole boss fight over again. That's all right. It's a conversation, and I got questions to answers. Questions to answer from you, uh, fine folks. Maybe I should try and focus a little bit instead of talking. I mean, I kind of have to say something, but. I don't, I don't know, because I, I, I just lose focus. Oh, my, see, dude, like, when he grabs the eco, he has, like, some sort of, like, slide effect to his walking and shit. That would have been it, too. We would have been done with the boss fight right there, because I hit him twice. And as uh, most standard affair bosses, the whole three hit and then the KO is how it is. Eh, that was a pretty big common theme in the PlayStation 2 days. Bosses taking three hits, and then that was it. You had to, like, survive, like, little waves. Each wave getting progressively harder. Sort of like making a video game 101. Whereas if I made a boss, I would, you know, I don't know, I probably wouldn't be good. I tried to make a boss in a little big planet level, 
and it was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. Um, like, it just wasn't working. I just couldn't get, like, the pistons and stuff to work. And I'm a, I'm a pretty intermediate player at Little Big Planet. Like, I'm, I'm not like player, but like creator. I actually, my levels are not half bad. Uh, I'm a big uh, trophy hunter, of course, you guys know that. And I fancy ps3trophies.org a lot. That's a great website to get some trophies, because there's a great trophy guides there. And they had a contest at one point called, I, I don't know what it's called, but you built a Little Big Planet 2 level. Oh yeah, it was for Mod Nation Racers, because Mod Nation Racers were coming out. So they said, hey, go to Little Big Planet 2 and make a level and enter a contest. And uh, I won second place, which is really cool. My level was based on Heavy Rain, actually. And uh, I won second place, and I got a $50 PS end card. You know, it's probably because there weren't, like, great Little Big Planet players or creators, you know, at ps3trophies.org. But, you know, needless to say, I did get second place, so that was pretty cool. So if you guys do have a little bit planet, you can go check out my levels because that you don't need to be you don't need to be my uh, PSN friend to see my little big planet stuff. You can just search PSN IDs. I got a couple of levels up up there. They're pretty pretty fun. I always like to jump into that game too every once in a while. Hey, we defeated Claw, Power Cell. What were we talking about originally? Oh yeah, PlayStation Four. Yeah, did not see that coming. I really I was thinking like around May, you know. Oh, someone's gonna talk to us. <laughs> well, now they're not, because I died. And it kind of works out. I Yeah, I thought, like, May would be a good time. Uh, May just seems uh, like a good frame of time. Wait, April, May, June. Yeah, because, uh, you know, E3... I don't know why I grabbed that ego. Because, you know, E3's in, like... It's in June, right? Damn it! Yeah, it's in June, and then... So they could announce it in May, and of course May's, you know, May 7th is uh, not only my birthday, but it's also... Um, the Last of Us comes out. So it's like, you know, do it like late May, get everybody pumped, you know, people just bought The Last of Us, people are loving PlayStation, and then, you know, going into June, you know, announce it late May, say, hey, PS4 is coming, uh, announce all the other stuff, and then, you know, you, you do E3 to detail it even further, so you got all these people pumped on PlayStation goodness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, these fuckers, gotta chase it down these bastards because they have a bomb. Yeah, detonator. Not a bomb. Uh, where am I going? There's like secret areas around here and stuff. I'm probably gonna intentionally kill myself a lot just so I can grab everything. So yeah, I was really shocked that they uh that they're probably going to announce it. I mean, I'm I'm fairly I'm like 99% sure that they're this is definitely gonna be PS4. The signs are definitely pointing to that. I don't know why they had you enter your email on the website they made. Oh man, because they made a website for you know the future of PlayStation, and you, I'm hoping you guys went to it to check it out. And it was oh man, that video though that they made with the PlayStation buttons like all zoomed in, like that was so like ah, I was freaking out because like the they zoomed in on the PlayStation buttons. Oh wow, already. Yeah, whatever. Restart. They zoomed in on the PlayStation buttons so much for that little teaser video that they did like it looked like like a piece of technology like it I was like is that actually the, the the actual console right there but then they zoomed out and it was just a PlayStation button I was like oh you freaking cock tease I was all pumped too I was like dude no way they're just showing it right there right now but then they didn't but it's alright because they're probably gonna I mean they're probably gonna show it on you know, the 20th I guess I'll just go this way Did I miss the... No, it's up here, I think. Yeah, it's up here. Grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, alright. Scout fly. No, no, okay. Alright. Oh, that's how you do it. R2. Wait, R2? Is it? Is that how... Yeah, okay. At least now I know how to see, see my HUD. But I'm probably not gonna remember. Probably not. I've missed that Blue Eco event, like, every time now. And, uh... Yeah, there's four cell power cells here, isn't there? It's up there that I, I forget how to get to. Because there's a power cell up there, and I, for I always forget how to get up there. And then I have to keep playing this 
the mountain pass over and over again because I can never remember how to get to it. Wow, I missed. Maybe it's this way. But you have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait until you actually beat this place, I think. Right? Well, I definitely lost at this point because they're going to get there. Yeah, they're doing all that stuff. Maybe I should just, like, get to the end. Just get it out of the way. Come on, this is just a, this is just an unneeded sequence. Come on. I get it, I lost. Or maybe I should, yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Screw missing orbs or whatever. We can always go back and backtrack. And God almighty, I cannot remember a single question you guys asked me. <laughs> off, well, offhand. I'm gonna have to temporarily pause. Read them and then get back to. How, now, how can I not just kick their asses right there? Come on. I'm clearly beating them. Come on. Now, how does the. Why does the blue eco also affect vehicles? Because, you know, it seems like eco would be the kind of thing where it just. Oh, come on. Those, those one hit kill you? Seems like eco is the kind of thing that would just. I don't know, it's like a, you know, drug substance, you know, that, uh, drug makes it sound so much, so bad, but in order to, like, relate to real-life objects, you know, real-life entities, I do not choose, uh, my words in the best way. What are these little things that they're using to fly around that look so cool, yet so primitive? I wonder if anybody's tried making such a flight machine, probably... In the old times, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Centuries. Time frames. Old. That's what they do, right? That's what they call it, at least. Hey, there's a scout. Let's at least try to get some stuff. Okay, well, now this is not good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need this. Yeah, there's that vent over there, too. That closed-off eco-vent. We're gonna want to get that. No, 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 don't die. Beat him, beat him, beat him. For the love of God. And don't hit, don't hit all this stuff. We can always go back. For the love of God, don't, don't do that. Oh, oh for a second I thought I was really going to get my ass kicked right there. There we go. Yes, we did. Get the Poso! Yay! Ah, I just cracked all my fingers. Zoom, zoom! Say what you gotta say, because I gotta get back on the zoomer. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Red Sage. He's gone, too. He dipped. Hey, another power cell. Yay! We are killing it, too. When I loaded up uh, this uh, episode, or, you know, the game, you know, because it tells you the percentage of how far you are, uh, I'm at 64%. So we're 64% through the game. Crazy, right? Didn't seem like we were that much that that much through. Oh, I kind of burped a little. I just ate cereal. I had a special K. With the uh, strawberries in it. I, I, you know, I, I know it's artificial strawberry and it's like not really. I don't know. It's like, it doesn't look appetizing, but man, it's it's so good. Yeah, there's that power cell. I just forget how to get to it. I always forget to. I always forget how to get to it. Oh, I know it's gonna be really funny when we meet those miners in the Red Sages, like, place. Oh, okay, well, they're all the. Uh, they're all the orbs. I think it's one of those things where we have to, like. Yeah, because see, this isn't on. I think that's one of those, um... Things where we have to go to another level and open up a thing, and... And I'm sounding really... I'm sounding really intelligent right now. But I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do, so we're actually just gonna come back to this place. And I'll be sure to show you, because I did forget the orbs. And that one guy... I keep forgetting his name. I know, I know he's, he, I know you're, because he's watching right now, probably, he watches a lot and stuff, so. Shout out to No Name Guy. 
So is it also, are you the same person that also my, uh, found my typo in the description of Ming blowing episode? I think so. I'm not sure. I sound, probably sound like a fucking idiot right now. No, ah, ah. Get off the zoomer. Let's go meet the, well, we're not meeting anybody really because the red sage is gone. I like the music over here too. It's like, so like chill even though it's like a lava place with all this lava everywhere. Yeah, listen to that. I already hear this first scout fly. Where is it? Oh, where the fuck is it? Oh yeah, it's probably under, yeah, it's under us. Ooh. I keep forgetting that there's also like orbs and scout flies for like each level selected area you go to. This level is, this, this place is kind of annoying to get around to because of all these like carts and everything. And there's like a really annoying vent here that you have to, uh, or not a vent, there's a precursor orb box that you have to open. It's really annoying. You need yellow eco to do it from the spider level. Oh my god, what happened here? This is the same thing as the other Blue Sages hut thing. Oh man, I should press the button. Holy yakow! The Red Sages lab looks worse than the Blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> ah! I Go! Call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. Oh, so Maya. No fun at all. Dude, look at those. Oh, Even he's you. looking at her. You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us. That guy's got a mad raspy throat. You were wrong, Samos. He'd probably be a great blues singer or jazz or something. And now we can reshape the world to our liking. Dude, Maya's got a nice ass, too. Even the Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little dark eco we could find. Am I the only person that thinks those, you know, ears just... We will have access oh, to they the turn me on, man. Mm. And long hair. Yes, I like chicks with long hair. Although I don't like dudes with long hair, and that's where Gaul rubs me the wrong way. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava. I think I already have enough. You know what to do. I collected so many. I haven't missed any. Except, you know, Rock Mountain or whatever. Dark eco crystals? Oh, you knew I had to, guys. <sighs> it needs to happen at some point. Come on, Jack. Hey, Oracle's down there. Oh, uh, there's those uh those two minor guys in here too, and those guys are really funny. Do I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to talk, dude, and you're just like talking to yourself. Yeah, I think they're in here. Yeah, they're in here, and they're funny. Let's go talk to them. We don't have enough orbs to trade with all of them though, because they we can trade up to. We can get four power cells from these guys, but man, are they funny to listen to. I'm just going to be quiet. Let's just, let's just, 
Let's just listen to them. Hey, Gordy, uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through. Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Uh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard. Actually, we want power cell, not gems. We got four of them. Uh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Ah, uh, those guys are a hoot. Good luck with your lives. I hope they get that that jewel out. They deserve it. I mean, they probably don't because they're thieving and conniving, but nonetheless, they d deserve it in my eyes. If you're smart enough to steal a jewel from a giant rock and no one else knows about it, it's pretty lucky. Uh, maybe I should open up the thingy now and read some... Whatever the fuck you guys ask me. Um. SS J Vogel. Uh. Favorite beer? I actually don't drink, dude. I don't. That's surprising. But, uh, I don't know. I grew up not drinking it, and I just never had that sort of, like, you know, first time experience. Oh, what the fuck, Sage? Oh, it's Kira, never mind. Oh, because of this thing. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I never. Growing up, like. I wasn't like. Oh, son of a bitch, Kira. Okay, you done? You done? Because cause I'm in the fucking middle of something. Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Um. I was not, I was not, I wasn't like super po popular growing up in like school and all that, so I never had that sort of like peer pressure opportunity of like, oh, hey, do you drink some, you know, alcohol and stuff? And I, I just never like did it, you know? I never had a reason to. And then like when I did, like, you know, drink beer, I was like, eh, this kind of tastes like shit. So I didn't like it. And then, you know, I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to say like straight edge, because that's like so douchey, like, oh, you know, Oh yeah, triple X, dude. No smoking, no, no pot, no. I'm so clean and I'm so healthy, and you know I'm. Just, I just don't have that shitty attitude because it is a shitty attitude to you know, be so happy about it. But I, I, I am technically clean. Like I don't do any of that stuff. So I don't know. No, no favorite beer, really. Although I will say my favorite like actual drink, I would be Coke, Coca Cola. Or uh, specifically within the Coca-Cola family, Vanilla Coke, that's really good. If you guys have not drank Vanilla Coke, um, I would advise you to do so because it's uh, really, really tasty. It has like a, like a beautiful vanilla aftertaste and oh my god. Like I, w I was afraid that my local Walmart was going to stop getting it because th they're always in such like short supply. So I like always buy it in bulk when I know they have it just so I have like a little backup. Right now I have like... Like five 12 pack cases, or no, five, yeah, five 12 pack cases, yeah. And I don't drink like Coke that often because, like, you know, it is bad for your teeth and stuff. And I don't, you know, brush every time I freaking drink a Coke because that's just, you know, tedious. So I can make it last. Uh, what do you expect Sony to do with the P Orbis slash PS4 and Vita uh, cross, pay, cross play cross buy? Um, that's a very interesting question, because, uh, it's a, you know, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, you know, PS3 and Vita, it's easy, because the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita actually have quite similar specs, I mean, it's absolutely insane that the PlayStation Vita can pull off such amazing games, but you're thinking, okay, well, the, since the PS4 is more powerful, yeah, there's that box I was talking about, since the PS4 is gonna be more powerful, 
it's obviously going to be ahead of the curve of Vita, thus there's not going to be games, really, that are going to, you know, like like PlayStation All-Stars, for example, that's a game where Vita can do it too, but, well, you know, you're not going to see something like that on PS4, where PS4 is much more powerful. Well, I mean, originally I had thought, you know, that there probably won't be many, like, cross-buy situations with retail games, like PS4 retail games, like $60 at the store retail games, because those are the kind of games that are, that are going to take the most horsepower out of the PS4. So that's really a situation where it would be hard to make a Vita, you know, Vita part of the game. But seeing Killzone Mercenary actually just recently and having even a guerrilla developer said that, uh, you know, in, inter in an interview, and you, you know, you gotta, you know, take it how you see it. I don't know if it's true, but he is the develop. They are the developers. They know what they're doing. Uh, they said that there's they're barely tapping the Vita's power, and Killzone Mercenaries looks outstanding. Like it's unbelievable how good it looks. And I'm sure PS4 is still more expensive, or PS4 is still going to have much more power, but I don't know. Um, I thought this lift was... Does this not work yet? Or was whatever Kira's, Kira's saying to me, like, I just wasn't listening. I don't think I was listening. I wasn't listening because I was angry. Hmm. Well, where can we go? There's the spider place. Then there's the the ice place. And then there's... What was the other area we can go to? I don't remember, actually. I'm kind of at a loss for where where else do we... Where else can we go? I completely forgot. The spider place is over there. I'm not going to do the spider place now, because the spider place is actually really long. And we're already so far into this Let's Play. Uh, I think there's only two levels left. Right? It has to be, dude. Maybe we'll just have to go to the spider place. I could have sworn. What can't create lava tube? Mountain pass. And the orbs of the miners. And of course we got all the orbs, correct? Yes. Um, what the f why can I not go to the... I want to do the ice place first, or the snow place. Okay, well, I don't want to die. Wow, and I also didn't... Oh, wow. Okay, well, yeah. Alright, don't know how to respond, really. Why doesn't this work? Do I really have to go to the spider place first? Because I don't want to. God damn it. Fuck it. Maybe we can cover some of the spider place, and then we can do it on the other half. Son of a bitch. But back to the question... About PS4 and PS Vita, you know, possible crossplay, cross by. So I'm I'm st still not entirely sure about, you know, retail PS4 games and retail PS Vita games because again, PS4 is obviously going to be much more powerful, and of course, you know, developers like who's going to you know handle the other, you know, PS4, PS Vita, you know, who's going to handle the PS Vita co version of a PS4 game? I just I don't know I I. I'm st even though Killzone Mercenaries does look good, uh, I'm still in the boat that we're probably not going to see a whole lot of that. But uh, uh, it's definitely still going to be, be very prominent in PlayStation Network games. That is definitely not going to go away. I mean, PlayStation Network is a huge platform now, just like Xbox Live. And PlayStation Network offers something that Xbox Live definitely does not have. And, you know, Nintendo kind of offers it with, you know, Wii U because because, you know, the gamepad, but they don't offer it kind of like with, you know, the 3DS and all that. Point being, because actually the Nintendo Wii U thing, that's actually, uh, like, virtual console games, you have to, like, pay a fee to use it on the gamepad. Point being, you're definitely, you're definitely gonna see it. Don't, don't spit at me, you fucker. Oh, I hate this place. This is probably my, my least favorite level in the game, too. It's just so big, and it's, Hard to remember where everything is, and you get lost, and the the uh, power cells are demanding here. This is just uh, this is gonna be a long area. It's gonna take a while. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see more of that. No, no, no doubt about that. You're gonna see more PSN games because PSN games are not demanding in terms of power. They don't need power. That's what they are. They're small games, and uh, Vita, even though it is capable of console games. 
great games like Knit Underground, which I I am really pushing Knit, Un Knit Underground. That was a that was such a good game. Knit Underground really needs I mean, more people need to get that game. But you know, it is it, it is meant to be you know a con you know console on the go, and it, it it is. But that does not mean you cannot also enjoy very small scale games like Knit Underground because they were fantastic. So you're definitely gonna see that. So. And that is, that I think is uh, going to be another crucial difference between back when the PSP was, you know, sort of, you know, relevant, you know, when it was actually released and, you know, was new. Not new, but, you know, that was the current Sony handheld. Whereas, you know, when the PSP came out, I played it all the time, but once PS3 came out, I never played it anymore. And I think that's going to be completely different with Vita and PS4. I don't think when I get a PS4 that I'm going to stop playing Vita because there's going to be always that cross by incentive and cross-play functionality with smaller scale PSN games, but probably not retail. And then you also said, what was your first console? And that was, my first console was of course PlayStation. That's why I'm kind of, I kind of, you know, I grew up on it. I also, I also, I'm, I'm not doing like anything in this right now. I'm just sort of talking and kind of roaming around. Yeah, it was definitely a PlayStation. I, I grew up with it, so that's kind of why I have a uh, uh, a preference to it. You know, I just grew up with it. I, you know, it's it's not like you know, oh, just the system name and all that. And like, I grew up with the games and you know the Sony characters, you know. And after PS One, I, uh, I got an N sixty four, and that was great. And then I loved N sixty four so much, I wanted to go backwards to like see other games I'm missing. And then I got like a Super NES, and that was cool. And then PS2 obviously was a behemoth, and that was incredible, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going on too long about this. Uh, let's read another one before a spider kills me, because I'm looking at my computer and I'm not even like watching what I'm doing. Is he dropping shit? Oh shit, okay, okay, we gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. Don't, okay. Don't, no spider babies, please. That sounds so creepy. Spider babies. Oh! Spider children. Ah, it's so that's fucking terrifying to have spider babies in your fucking, like, house or whatever. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. Uh, someone said... Uh, Orlando. Shout out to Orlando, man. I know you watch all my stuff. You're a huge viewer. I, I, I am so humbled that you always watch my stuff. You said, why don't I do Let's Plays more often? And, uh, it's mostly time management. I just don't have time to do many Let's Plays. And also, I, I'm very careful of what I put on my YouTube channel. I like being simple and having a, a set thing where I do a schedule and set amount of videos. I think that's why my channel's been growing so much the way it has been, because it's so easy to understand what's going up on my channel and and what I do and what I'm trying to do, whereas other YouTubers will upload uh, a Let's Play one day, and then they'll upload a, like, a fucking vlog the next day, and then they'll upload some random shit the other day, and there's no set time period for what they're doing. They're an absolute mess. They don't know what they're doing. So I'm very careful what I do on my channel, and I don't want to over flood it with multiple Let's Plays, especially if no one's watching them. And I don't care that people aren't watching them. You know, I like doing them. And I like having the very select few of people that do watch them. You know, I do like that sort of small audience. Even though it's small, I don't mind. But I'm not going to, like, do tons of them until, like, more views start coming in. Because then it's, like, if that once that demand's there, then it's not like I'm just some fucking douche uploading all these... I'm not just some dude uploading all these Let's Plays that's no, that no one's watching. You know what I'm saying? So, currently, I'm... No matter what, there's always going to be a Let's Play Wednesday. That is a new thing added to the, added to the schedule. And if... And I, I you know, I definitely, wanted to, I definitely want to do them more often, because it is going to, like, take forever to, like, finish games and stuff, you know? You know, people... Some people don't want to watch me play. Some people don't want to watch me play Jack and Dexter. And that's fine. You know, maybe I could work on two games a week rather than one. And that would be a great idea, but until I can't, I'm not gonna do that until like more people are watching them. There's more demand, because this if I if I'm doing two a week, that's just that's just flooding, you know, that's just flooding the content. It's just it's dispersing it, and it's it's I don't know, it just 
like I said, I'm very careful what I put on the channel. And so far, what I've been doing so far has really been working for me. And I love the fact that everybody who does watches, who does watch, watches. And that's great. But, you know, long story, long answer, short answer. Um, when there's more demand, I shall do more. But I definitely will do more. I guarantee you that. Poor Londio. Thank you again for... I was watching. You think I'm funny. And I, I don't see that, but... Come on, you fucking faggot. These, I hate these fucking drill dudes. I hate them. They're, they're dicks. Look at it. He just waits for me. I'm in... I'm in <laughs> you guys know I'm impatient. Is there any more... Whatever. Uh, I'm looking at comments. Justin Taylor, you have a cute voice. Oh, thank you. How did I? I did not see that. Ion Whitnick, will you be playing Little Big Planet? I actually have an idea for a segment involving Little Big Planet, and uh, I may roll that out in the next six months. That would be added to the weekly schedule of uploads. I really want to do like something Little Big Planet themed on the channel weekly, because I love Little Big Planet. Oh, don't die! Don't get up! I'll say something really teary at the funeral, like, "How am I gonna get Chase back now?" Uh, DFO four ninety. What is your favorite character from PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale? Oh, come on, dude! What are we playing here, man? It's Jack. You can't go wrong with him. And it sucks because he's kind of underpowered in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Also, if you're wondering about my opinions on the, uh... Uh, sort of, uh, Superbot... Sh not shut down because they aren't shut down, but, you know, their relationship with Sony. That will also be on... Friday's Let's Talk PlayStation Soul. And that is such a, uh, sad story. It's, it's, well, it's not sad because the studio's fine, but... Just, Sony's such idiot sometimes, I swear, they're like such retards, but I, I kind of see why they might have done it, you know, but they're still, they're still retards. Ugh, I kind of burped again. Ugh, my stomach's acting like a little weenie right now. Ah, ah! Don't die. Uh, what is your favorite game? What is your favorite game from all the Jack games? Jack 2. Jack 2 is my favorite. I love all of them, but Jack 2, if I had to pick a, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Jack 2. Ah, 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 come on, oh, come on! You know, it's one thing I get hit, but it's another thing when they gotta kick me off the giant mountain thing, because this, like, whole area is annoying. I hate Spider Cave, man. I do. I don't, I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't know. It's like, sort of, I don't want to say te a tedious, because that's like me, you know, saying I don't like my favorite game. You know, that's like me pointing out a flaw in my favorite game, because I do think there's like no flaws. But I just don't, I just dread this area, kind of. Maybe because I have to spend so much time here and I get my ass kicked. In fact, I don't even know if part 7 of this Let's Play will <laughs> have me fully completing the spider place or whatever. Cause it's so much. I think also I think how many per, how many orbs are here in this area? Yeah, there's 200 here too. This is gonna. And I just know there's gonna be a like a. Wow, well, I just like went right into that. There's totally gonna be a part where it's like I'll get to the end and there's like I don't know, like two orbs left and I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, fuck that guy. I don't don't. Ah. Uh. I only have one thing left. Oh, thank God, health. I really, oh, come on, I really underestimate Green Eco. I, need, I just need to start picking it up. Hey, a new level. Uh, where are we going? Oh, well, we're not going that way because there's nothing there. Come on, dude. Don't touch me. Wait, pick up Green Eco, yeah. Because then I can get another thing, and then this wouldn't actually be such a hard sort of thing. Hey, there we go. Nice. All right. And I have 41, actually. I hear a scout fly. It is somewhere. Uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, that area's annoying too. There's like so many elements to Spider Cave. Is that even what it's called? Am I saying it right? Yeah, Spider Cave. I second guess myself a lot. Like, I say things, I'm just not sure if I mean the right thing. Alright, four health. We're doing not too shabby. But this dude is really on my nerves. Get out of my way. What is the point of that thing? You know what? I'm going for it. Fuck it. It's almost the end of the Let's Play. Boom! Look at that. That's America. Yeah, there's that power cell. Also, that um, machine that they're building is a boss in Jack 3, I think? Yes. Wow, how did I not get burned? Yeah, but what they're building... Oh, actually, no, wait. <laughs> what they're building is actually the the current boss of the... Yeah, the whole... Yeah. That's the boss of Jack and Daxter. What am I thinking? But there's also another one of those dudes that you face in Jack 3, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. That's fine. Oh, that's definitely fine. Man, they're really generous with the... Uh... Man, where the hell's this shit been when I get my ass kicked? Also, I'm not sure where orbs are. Yeah. See? I just know I'm going to forget something. Oh, there's another f fucking power cell over there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Booyah! Um. Let's get this. Um. Scout fly. Man, I talked so much, I'd like. Oh, son of a bitch! God darn ya! Alright, tell you what, real quick, let's get the. Let's get this. Let's go get the scout fly and then we'll, we'll call it quits, eh? Eh? That's what those Canadians say, right? Oh man, someone thought I was Canadian. I don't know, because I wrote in the description of a video. I don't know, I said A in the description of the video. So it was like, hey, you Canadian? Nah, man, nah, B ain't Canadian. I got a friend who's Canadian, though. His name is Matt. Shout out to Matt. Where is this thing? Come on. Let's go. Does it even come down this way? It doesn't. You, you bitch. You fucking cocksucker. Yeah, we're calling it here, man. <laughs> uh, this has been the Jack and Asher Let's Play. This is part six. Um, yeah, man. We'll finish this little shit ball of an area. And hopefully finish all of Spider Cave next week. I'm Ryan Benecki. Thank you for playing with me. And I will see you next Wednesday.